Today, I'd like to talk about anti-aging. There are two main theories about how we age. One is called the catastrophic garbage theory of aging that states that debris accumulates inside of the cells to the point where they can't properly carry out their functions. The second theory is that free radicals damage cells and DNA to the point where they can't properly make proteins or replicate. So, let's talk about how we might deal with each of these causes of aging. For the catastrophic garbage theory of aging, I like to use serapeptase. This is the enzyme that silkworms use to digest themselves out of their cocoon. It also tends to break down lots of debris and dead tissue, so that's a great way to deal with the accumulation of debris inside of a cell. Of course, serapeptase doesn't survive digestion, so we put it in our notoplex suppositories. The second thing you might consider is dealing with free radicals. For that, we make a product called Rejuvalon, which contains superoxide dismutase, catalase, and melatonin. In this video, you can see three hairs on my chin. Notice the tips of the three hairs are white, but the base of the three hairs is dark and thick. This is not just a cosmetic improvement. I personally believe that the rejuvenation that's taking place in my hair follicles is taking place systemically throughout my body. If this is something that you would like to work on for yourself in terms of anti-aging, you might consider our Rejuvalon suppositories. Finally, it's possible that by the 22nd century, aging will be considered a curable disease and lifespans might stretch out into the hundreds, if not thousands of years. We don't have these technologies yet, but we're right about to get them. So if we can live another 50, 100 years, who knows how much longer we might continue? It's that extra hundred years pushing us into the 22nd century and the anti-aging technological advances that may happen at that time frame that might give us truly extended lifespans.